All right, I'm changing the battery inside the Quantum Battery One Plus. See, what I've done so far is take out these little screws here on each side. Two more here. Those screws go into the plastic right there. Sorry, this camera doesn't focus that well. Once you remove the screws, you can wiggle this this piece loose, but don't pull it too far because it's still attached to the battery inside. It's hard to see here. I don't have good lighting, but uh, I go like that. See the battery is still in there, the white piece. So now I'm going to have to tap that out of the leather case. And I don't know if you're going to be able to see that or not, but I'll try. Put this thing up here next to the soldering iron. I have no idea where it's aimed at. So now I'm kind of supporting that with my finger and I'm going to tap the leather case against the edge of this wood block to get the battery to fall out. Almost. Can you see? It's just about out. Now I can grab it with my fingertips, get it out of the case. Sort of. So that was like this. Replacement battery. Different brand, but the Power Sonic is available. The store I went to just didn't have it. This is 6 volts, 2.9 amp hours. Don't know if it'll be as fast as the Power Sonic was originally, but I'm sure it's going to be better than than how it is now. Where is negative? All right, negative positive, just like the original one. When I do stuff like this, I usually take pictures of it before I take it completely apart that I can refer to if I need help putting it back together. So this is going to go like that. Original battery. I don't have any water out here or a damp sponge to clean the soldering iron so I'm going to improvise and just dip it right into the flux. This phone might fall. Sorry. I knew that was going to happen. Alright. I think we're still on. Solder. Sorry again. Flux. Cleaning the soldering iron there. I think you're supposed to use a wet sponge for that. Put 
put some solder on the iron. Put this back in position. Remove the cap. Just put a little solder on this. Well, before we do that, let's check the tabs compared to the original battery. See, on this one, there's squished down pretty close to the top of the battery. So I'm going to do that on this one, too. I want to make sure it can fit in the case. We have a little screwdriver here. Because I wouldn't want to go across the room and get a screwdriver, right? How about a drill bit instead? Let's try that up slightly. All right, here we go. It's it like this, right? Positive, positive. Yep, that's how it was. Okay. Now, let's put a little slider on here. I'm no expert at this, but it should. Once the tab gets hot, the solder should flow onto it. Just not there yet. There it is. Let's do this one. One more time. That's how it goes, right? I think so. Oops, right. Let's see if I can do this without burning myself. Wouldn't be a bad idea to hold this with meat on those pliers or something. There's one. Negative, positive. There's my little drill bit again. I melted the top of the case a little bit. I don't recommend doing that. Front of the case, front of the dashboard. Try and get these wires in there so that everything fits.
They don't leave any extra room in these cases. Now, the, I'm not, I don't want to push on this and force the battery in because this stuff is delicate. So I'm going to tap this down and the battery should slide it under its own weight. Like that. And screw holes almost line up. Something's not quite perfect yet. I think that's it. Ah, oh, yeah, now I can see. So it has to go a little more. Well, that's just about it. Let's see, looks about like original. The screws are in the house where I started this project, so I'm going to go back in there, put it together, and see if it works. So this whole pack is about 220, and that replacement battery was 20 dollars, and online they're even cheaper so if it works it's a good deal